Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 41st tutorial. And starting with the tutorial, we actually have to head towards the end of the jQuery portfolio series. Because, um, you know, we our purpose is to learn jQuery and we I don't think we'll learn a lot of jQuery if we just continue uh, improving this portfolio. Of course, we can improve styles and HTML structure and stuff, but that will be a tutorial on HTML and CSS and not on jQuery. So, and the last feature I would like to add to this portfolio would be a search search form. So we'll, we'll just have a simple search text box right here, and we will just uh, start entering a search query, and the script will display us the picture which matches the search query. So, um, but before we can run search on these images, we need a search criteria so um, I decided to uh, just expand this li element with a new attribute and we can call it data keyword or something or keywords and set it equal to the keyword which we want to add to this uh, image so anyway um, by the way there's something important I want to say uh, I want to tell you guys um, every time the script works with this list.html uh, list that HTML gets messed up. So what I mean is, uh, it gets, uh, it just loses its format. And it's just guys, make sure that you uh, that you format this list that HTML again after the server messes up with it. So let me just show you guys what's, what's going to happen. So I'm just grabbing the images and I'm doing like this, like this, and like this. Then I'm opening it again, and it looks like so. And this is not something what you want to have because it's you know it's difficult to work with it. So you just make sure you uh, make them look like so. So anyway, uh, we decided to create a new attribute, which I called data keywords, and set it equal to uh, some keyword. For example, the image number one is this beach. Uh, hold on, let me just reload the page. It's this beach, and we can just go ahead and say beach. And the image number two, this looks like a castle or something, which we'll just copy this data keywords thing and paste it right here, everywhere, actually. Would be a good idea, I think. So like this, and like this, and like this. So uh, this is a castle, pretty much. And this is, um, I don't know what it is. Well, um, a palace. And this is a... Um, White houses, <laughs> white houses sounds sounds funny, and this one is uh, I don't know it looks like a church or something. So I'll just say church. I apologize for uh, those of you guys who knows what it is, but this tutorial is not on um, on Spanish uh, architecture and nature. Well, the next picture is a lake and a car, so I'll just say lake and car, and the. Two last ones is a fountain and just a water. Fountain. I hope I spelled fountain right. Is it fountain like this? Hold on. Fountain. Oh, it's fountain with, with E on the end, right? Okay. Uh, just check the images. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, fountain. And the last one is, uh, I'll just say water. All right. So now I have this keywords. And we only need to create a text box just right here. So uh, we have to edit the HTML structure for it. And I want this text box to be in the header. And this header is this black thing on the top. So where's the header? Yeah, right here. Menu. We will just say uh, new, create a new text element. So I'll just create this input. I'll say input type equals text. Uh, place hold uh, place holders should be like search and I think that's it so let's see what's gonna happen yeah we have this search just uh, right under this checker portfolio under the logo type pretty much but let me use some inline CSS in it I'll just say style equals float right to make it just be on the right side yeah now it's, it's on the right side well, uh, looks fine. Uh, now when we uh, type our search query right here, we want uh, 
the images only images to appear which are in this which which match the search criteria the search query so and we won't make it unfortunately in this tutorial to uh, run the code for it so we'll do that in the next one so thanks for watching guys and see you guys in the 40 second tutorial Oh